Morning guys. So today I decided rather than cleaning up the boat and then going through the seals, I'm going to check and see how well it floats and where the leaks are before I invest too much time in cleaning it up and checking the seals. I'll most likely still go through and clean off all the old sealant and replace it. But first I want to see exactly where it's leaking. I know the transom's bad, it's rotted out. But other than that, the boat looks like it's in great shape. If you didn't see my last video where I picked up this old aluminum boat, I will put that in the banner right here. So, real quick, I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was really cool. Let's look at it. Ooh, slippery. This water is cold. 1987. So 1987 was the last time my dad had this boat registered. It's literally sat at my childhood home from 1993 until now. So it's been sitting in the exact same spot for 25 plus years and it's still in great shape. I just thought that was pretty cool to see that sticker. That sticker is three years older than I am. It's just really cool that it's stuck on there all these years. So right now I'm at Versailles State Park. There's a little boat ramp. It's nice and quiet here this morning. It's it's early. It's like 7 o'clock. I'm the only person here besides, I think, one park attendant. So far guys, the only leak that I'm seeing is near the back of the boat and it's really slow. So I'm going to tie this off to the dock like I said and then I'm going to stand in it for a few minutes and just see what it does. Wow guys, the, the only spot that it's leaking right now is back here in the back of this boat. I'll show you guys exactly where it's leaking once I get back. Guys, that is all of the water that's in this boat. There's a teeny tiny bit up here, but I think some of this could be from the rain last night. I had this thing in the back of my truck. So it looks like right here is where that leak is most predominant. I think that's the, the plug. So guys, the next step for me after I get it loaded back in the truck is I'm actually going to take this to a car wash, pressure wash everything. The seats are in decent shape. I mean, they're, they look pretty nasty probably on camera, but really they're, they're not in bad shape. The framework is still good, so if I can just buy the cushions, I might do that. I don't know. I'm not going to just trash them, but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hose this thing inside and out. I'm going to hose it down with the pressure washer, get all that crud off of it. And then from there, we're going to probably, in another episode, strip all of the old sealing off. And then I'm going to go through and reseal this entire thing. I think I may have said it in my original video. If you guys, again, if you guys haven't seen that one, at the beginning of the video, I'll have a banner for it. So I said in that video that I have the original trailer for this boat. It's at my parents' farm right now. Right now, it's sitting at my parents' place doing nothing. 
So it'll take quite a bit of work before it's road ready, but it's just sitting there waiting to be used. So guys, I remembered as I was leaving the state park that my dad actually has a pressure washer. So rather than going to a car wash and paying to pressure wash the boat, I'm just going to borrow my dad's or take the boat to dad's and spray off the boat that way. I'm not going to do that today. It's supposed to rain all day. It started raining as I was leaving the state park. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching Eat Explore Hunt. I appreciate all of your support. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you're returning, thank you so much. Hope you guys have a good one.